About half of the staff in one Medina County school district received their first dose of the vaccine weeks before they were supposed to. Even though we're now in phase 1B, which does include school employees, the vaccine is supposed to only be available to people 80 years of age and older. News 5's Jesse Schultz explains how Cloverleaf Local Schools struck a deal that moved their staff to the front of the line. Cloverleaf Local Schools is a small district that has accomplished a big feat as the first one in the state to offer vaccinations for its teachers. My consideration was what's the soonest I can get our kids back here in school. Superintendent Daryl Camilla says before the state announced the timetable for phase 1B and how it would work. This was all before the governor prioritized the 1Bs on January 7th for 80 year olds, 75 year olds, etc. He was working to make the vaccines available to Cloverleaf staff. The Medina County Health Department worked with us to utilize unused 1A vaccinations in an effort to get us to be able to come back so I could negotiate that with our teachers association. The agreement, the health department would take unused vaccines from phase 1A and give them to their staff in order to get them back in the building. And despite the state's timetable, it was honored. For me, it was a race against time. 84 of the 184 teachers in the district received the vaccine this past weekend. And Tuesday, they began in-person learning. Suzanne Raber, a reading intervention teacher for Cloverleaf Elementary, was one of those 84 teachers. I wanted to make sure beforehand, I said, I'm not taking this away from, you know, an 80 year old who's waiting for it. And they assured us that we weren't, that it was an opportunity that was given to me and I was happy to take it. She says it's just another level of protection that gives her confidence. I just feel better knowing that my body is starting to build immunity. Um, we're still, of course, you know, keeping our distance, which is very difficult <laughs> with younger children. But it, it was just something I really wanted to do. But for both Raber and Kabilis, those injections mean more than just immunity. Every day that our kids aren't here in school is a day that they're not getting the best possible learning experience from our Cloverleaf teachers, that they're possibly not getting nutritious food, and that they're possibly suffering from some sort of social isolation. It's time to get our kids back, and that's what I advocated for. Reporting for News 5, I'm Jesse Schultz. Okay, we reached out to the Medina County Health Department for comments several times. We have not heard back. The state health department did say, in part though, that it's aware of the situation and supports getting kids back in school. But ODH says it is important for vaccine providers to follow the guidance so the state has enough vaccine to make sure the most vulnerable populations receive their shots first. COVID-19 